Okay guys, uh, today I wanted to explain power factor to you. Um, this is a charge that shows up in your bill um, every single month and it's based on the efficiency of your equipment. So, to help you understand that, think of the total monthly amount of energy you use as a pitcher of beer. So we have our little spout here. I'm an excellent artist, so please be very critical here. Um, and you've got your handle. And then you have your healthy amount of froth, right? So in an ideal situation, you would get all of the beer you paid for, and you'd get a nice amount of foam, you know, head. Everybody likes a good amount of head on their beer. Um, but with power factor, this part right here, the part that's not really that tasty, that you don't really want to have to pay more for, but with power factor, that's exactly what happens. So I have an example here of 0.86% power factor. That would put this picture somewhere around here with all of this being foam, okay? And what happens is the amount of electricity that's ordered down your line gets diluted somewhere. Imagine there's an air pocket in your, in your tag cap, or in your um, keg cap. And so that electricity gets diluted and you end up just kind of getting less of it. But the valve is still going and so the utility tracks that um, and, and they're keeping track of how much beer and how much foam you get, but there's really nothing they can do. That's just kind of how it comes out unless the problem gets fixed. So in this scenario, power factor is assessed as 1% of the demand charges. So this example, the, the regular cost to supply the demand of electricity that this pitcher requires is $7,000 a year. That's a fair charge. But when there's a penalty, every single percent over 0.97 is going to be assessed this penalty here. So um, in this scenario, if we did a power factor of 0.86, then that means you'd have 11% that's left over because they give you a few points credit times 7,000 for 12 months means that in one year you've paid an excess of $9,240 for foam. So this is 100% fixable. It is an avoidable charge. It requires an engineer or an energy consultant like myself to go in and do an actual audit on the profile, see what you're being charged what is your power factor percentage? And then your energy professional can make a suggestion on the best course of action. In the absolute worst case scenario, um, there's a, a, th a three phase power, um, power factor, which really means that all three of your three phase pots that are out at the street level, from there all the way into your you know, outlet for your printer, there are air bubbles all through the whole system. And it is only something that uh, can be corrected with a physical laborer going out and assessing where the most um, heavy leaks are. So uh, I hope that clears up power factor for you. Feel free to comment and share my videos and uh, subscribe. Thanks. Get Mighty on your side.